Hello guys, today I want to show you a pretty new Laravel package called Laravel Zap by Ludovic Genet, if I pronounce that correctly in French. And despite the freshness, it already has almost 800 stars. It's for schedule management. Schedule of appointments, availability like doctors or workers. Basically, if you want to get an appointment to someone and you have the calendar with appointment rules. So we've created a demo project with Filament, which we will release. It's still in progress, which we'll release on filamentexamples.com. But I decided to shoot a separate video for Laravel because part of that Filament dashboard is this. Let me show you. So doctors list, and then you go to manage schedule of, for example, this doctor. And then there are two buttons, add availability rule, which means calendar rule. So in this clinic on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, for example, that doctor works from 8 a.m., for example, or 6 a.m., for example, to 2 p.m. Let's change that to 2 p.m., for example. Effective from today at this moment is 27th of August submit and we have new availability rule in the database behind the scenes i already installed that package the installation by the way is very simple just compose require and migrate and add trait to models that's it nothing really fancy so we can add the rule and as you can see the schedule is monday to thursday 6 to 14 o'clock but then also you can add custom rules custom block time for example we called it block time maybe for example reason holiday, sick leave, parenting leave, or something like that. So for example, let's schedule a holiday for that doctor from date of, I don't know, September 1st to September 7th. For example, we submit and basically rule by rule, you add those rules to the database for specific doctor. You may add custom data. So let me show you the database. For example, these two records are the ones that we added availability rule, schedule type, availability or blocked. There's also appointment and custom, then start and date, then frequency, a few JSON fields like metadata. So you can add description, for example, and basically that's it. In the code, this is filament code, but even if you don't work with filament, there's create availability rule function. We create it for the data, and this is how you use that package to save the data save the schedule into the database. So zap for selected doctor, which is ID of the user. And then you chain a lot of methods, some of them required, some of them optional, like for example, with metadata clinic ID, it's an optional field, because in our case, doctors may work in a few clinics. So this is how we add the availability rule and then pretty similar function, create blocked period. Also zap for just blocked and a bit shorter function. But then also what we discovered, at least during the testing, that the package didn't work with periods longer than eight hours. So this was kind of our workaround to add periods eight hours each. But this is another example that you create Zap Builder and then add multiple stuff, add period with metadata and anything else, and then you save at the end. So pretty good user experience or developer experience chaining the methods. And then as a result of all of that, here's the part of the official documentation to query the data for appointments or schedule availability. So you have user and then you can get appointment schedules or availability schedules or blocked schedules. So I tried that. We didn't build that into the project, but I've opened the Tinkerwell and this is the code. So I find that user of that specific doctor. And if I launch that, we have schedules returned from the database, but this would not be the typical use case. Probably more typical would be check availability, for example, for specific date, for example, September 3rd. Let's try September 3rd and user ID 4, which we worked with. And let's see whether the doctor is available. And yes, available because, so the result is true because we scheduled the holiday in one of the clinics. So in another clinic, that doctor is available. Then another example, get available slot for the users. So slot duration 60, and you get the array of nine to 10, 10 to 11, and so on for that specific day. Also, there's a function get next available slot for a specific day, like again, September. And if we launch that, we get one slot the next available. 
These were just random experiments and I'm not sure if the data is even correct because as I said doctors work in multiple clinics so I'm not sure maybe there should be more parameters. I just wanted to launch the same thing as in the official documentation but there are more queries as examples and more configuration so you should try it in your case but basically this is a good package providing a lot of methods around scheduling appointments and calendar for employees like doctors. What do you think? Would you use this package or do you have any alternatives that you use? We can discuss as usual in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.